Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on Dorico Pro's advanced layout options. If you are new to Dorico or the layouts panel, I highly suggest that you first watch my other video about this topic to get a better overview of the basics. Now I will tell you two scenarios in this video that might be useful. First, let's say I have a score for violin, but I want to have a new layout for the same score for clarinet in A. What I'm going to do first is that I'm going to duplicate my violin layout by right clicking and clicking on duplicate. Then I'm going to right click on the new layout again. Then I'm going to rename it to clarinet in A. After that, I will just right click and click on clef and transposition overrides. In this window, we have a bunch of configurations and an informational section. The top one is where you see the information regarding your selected layout, and you cannot edit anything here. And as you can see, my clarinet layout does not have any overrides for clefts or transpositions. And if you look at the bottom section, this is where you can actually modify the settings. So now, I'm going to ask Dorico to change the transposition of this layout to a clarinet in A. And since clarinets written middle C will sound as A the octave below in its part, I will head to the transpose section, turn this button on, and then click the down arrow until I get to note A3. I will leave the next button off since I don't want any modifications for my new score layout in a concert pitch. Now if I click on OK and select the clarinet layout in the drop-down list above, you will see that the transposition is done automatically. Super nice! If I want to see the difference between my transposed and concert pitch, I can easily head to the lower left side of Dorico and click on my desired view. Neat! Now for our new scenario, I'm gonna have a violin score and I want to have it as a viola too, but with a simple twist. I want the viola to play an octave lower than the violin. Again, I will make a duplicate of my violin score, rename it to viola, so duplicate, right click, Viola, awesome, and then head directly to the clef and transposition overrides. In summary, what I want is that the score to be transposed an octave down and also incorporate an alto clef instead of a G clef. For the transposition, I will set the middle C as C5 in the transposed pitch section. and also C5 in the concert pitch. This process tells Durico that the new layout should sound and also look an octave lower. And for the clef change, I will turn on the option right here, clef for first staff, and then set both transposed and concert pitch as alto clef. And you see concert pitch here, turn it on and Alto clef. And actually, that's it. Let's press OK. And if I just head to the drop down and bring my viola, as you can see, the clef now has changed and also the score is transposed an octave lower. And actually, that's it. This concludes this tutorial. And I hope that you enjoyed it. In the next video, I will covering the propagate part formatting feature in the layout panel. And if you don't want to miss it, do slap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Until next time, I'm out.